So it's almost like you're creating almost an army that has a specific scope of what they want to look at. And they're the ones that, that keep that running. You think we're going to start to see more native agentic integrations in platform like Kubernetes, where they, Kubernetes introduces its own agent. That does Kubernetes. During and fixing of stuff. I, th I think possibly, but I, th I think the, one of the things the vendors is miss, may be missing now is that I don't think there's much value in like a Kubernetes trained agent, for example, because every, every LM knows how all that works. Yes. Why pay for the proprietary one when you can just use the general one for it? And, you know, a couple of years back, I saw, I was thinking, okay, well, the, the frontier LMs are going to be too expensive to run for these things. But then, you know, GPT-5 came out a few months ago now and, and mini is amazingly cheap. So, and, and it's as good as what 4.1 was in terms of his knowledge. So, and they're only going to get cheaper. So you don't need, you don't need like a super specific trained, very cheap LM because the frontier ones are, are cheap themselves. So, yeah, I don't know. I think that, I think that these things will be released, but their value is yet to be determined. No, this makes perfect sense. Uh, so it's been really valuable, I think. People who want to check out that Orca pack or connect with you, where should they go? How should they get in touch with you? Well, they can add me on LinkedIn. So I'm sure we'll put a link in and they can uh, go to netorca.io. That's our website. There's quite a few things up there, some demos. And yeah, follow me on LinkedIn. I, I'll be releasing more and more demos around this and I'm having fun experimenting. So I want to want to share that with everyone. Yeah, thank you for walking us through this. All this is particularly interesting, especially the way you manage context or set up the self-healing loops. I think it will be valuable to many of the people. Is there anything else you'd like to leave people with? Any kind of thoughts? Any of your future vision or some of the things you're working on? Well, I think one of the things we're working on now is is taking that concept to, to be as universal as possible, because some of the demos I've done previously were giving quite specific infrastructure instructions on the output. And one of the demos I'm going to be releasing now is taking that same concept of a loop and just saying, can you give us the API calls and a list of steps to go through to go and achieve something? And when you could do that, you, you know, can apply it to anything. It, we could build up a whole AWS environment. We could build Azure, you know, multi-cloud stuff. So I think that that's interesting. That's something I'll, I'll post soon. And I think the message for people is, yeah, these things are a lot more capable than people are giving them the credit for. And when you give them bounds and when you're smart about your context and context in both the giving it the right information, but not giving it information that it doesn't need as well, I think is a key insight. 